Rocky and Creed fans are all in for a treat, from showcasing the best brotherly bonds to inevitably pitting them against each other. This franchise really knows how to do it all. For Creed 3, let's find out how the production cannot make the same mistakes as Rocky. I'm sure you'd all know by now of the new nemesis in Creed 3, Damien. Apparently, the guy's here to resurrect a villain narrative that was first presented in Rocky 5 with Tommy Gunn. But if I'm going with popular opinion, it has the potential to become a lot better, and the new bad guy might just be the key to it all. Creed 3's introduction of Damien presents an opportunity to construct a personal villain story that is similar, but in some ways even superior to the Tommy Gunn evil art in Rocky 5. Let's get you the specifics. The third film in Michael B. Jordan's reboot of the Rocky series, Creed, follows Adonis Donny Creed as he trains with Sylvester Stallone's Rocky Balboa to become a successful boxer. A classic exciting trope with productions like these, right? Well, in the new movie, Donnie's old pal Damien fights with the most recent of Rocky's many enemies. Throughout the entire Rocky franchise, numerous villains have challenged Rocky and Donnie to important boxing contests. Who wouldn't want to be the one to dethrone the reigning champions? I can't help but wonder if there's a category for all the different kinds of opponents these men face. Let's list them. Well, it's no secret that Rocky or Donnie had the chance to establish their credentials as local boxers. That and their talent really just speak for themselves. And that's when some of these opponents, like Apollo Creed or Ricky Conlon, popped up and presented with a substantial little challenge. But then there are other opponents too. You know, like Ivan Drago, who've established a reputation for themselves as fighters to be defeated or else they become targets for retaliation. Feisty little creatures, these fighters fighters, aren't they? Then there's that other kind as well. You know, the fighter who starts out as a friend, but then there's that twist in fate, and he turns into the bad guy. Yeah, that villain. Well, that little brand of nemesis has only made one appearance in the Rocky films, Rocky V to be exact, and will probably now make its second feature in Creed 3. Are you guys excited? But that's not the only reason this take would be special. It's because, like Rocky V's villain story, Creed 3's narrative is personal. You you guys already know that plots like these are top tier, but what you may not know is why it's personal this time around. Well, in Creed 3, the bad guy is not just some random boxer from another city, but a close friend of Donnie's. That's just adding fuel to the fire now, don't you think? Something that makes this particular rivalry all the more fun. This whole narrative first appeared when Tommy Gunn, the eventual villain, was being trained by Rocky in Rocky 5. Initially, Tommy was seen by Rocky as a protege. They always are the overcoddled, perfect little sons that never could be, right? The two enjoyed success and fame together before Tommy left for George Washington. And then there was that battle. Given their history and the shocking betrayal, Rocky and Tommy's street battle was far more important and painful than a typical boxing contest. What a stage that was though, straight up fire. Now, like the OG did throughout the events of Creed 3, Donnie and Damien may bond, but they also have a shared past and a a bond from their younger years. Yes, it's true that Donnie first doesn't recognize Damien, as seen in the Creed 3 trailer, but it soon becomes obvious that his reappearance and desire to fight must strike a chord with him, as it should. And so, their relationship was revived, and then they eventually became rivals, a classic. But because of the bond that Donnie and Damien share, their struggle is going to be considerably more intimate than a boxing bout, like in Rocky 5. Well, if I'm being honest, Rocky 5's villain narrative may not even compare to Creed 3's. Let's see how. The very twisted and gray relationship that Creed 3 centers around has the potential to cover up Rocky 5's flaws while having a villain arc at the same time. It's no secret that Rocky 5 made quite a few mistakes, but out of those many flaws, the key setback was the absence of gripping fight scenes. I mean, come on, you can't not make a Rocky 5 movie without some killer fight scenes, right? Okay, I know what you're gonna say next. The final brawl between Rocky and Tommy, well, that doesn't count, because it skeeted away from the expected boxing fight itself, and instead became a chaotic street brawl. Like, come on. But that allows for Creed 3 to shine now. Rocky 5 focused on a mentor-mentee relationship, whereas Creed 3 can be more about friendship and the challenges of wanting to beat your friend, while still wanting the best for them at the same time. This fiery little encounter will also be brought to life by Jonathan Majors as 
Damien. Using this as an execution point, Creed 3 can escape the problems with Rocky 5 and turn into a far better Rocky movie. In contrast, they can present Donnie and Damien's rapidly falling apart friendship in a gripping shakedown. If executed well, the whole thing would be absolutely outstanding. And that's not all. Just by highlighting the intense and emotional bonds between the two, Creed 3 can truly outperform Rocky 5. What do you guys think? Now, let's talk about the trailer for a bit, shall we? They finally released the first official trailer for Creed 3 on October 18, 2022, and the whole thing gave fans what they were eagerly waiting for, the first look at the entire production. The story goes something like this. Damien, an old friend of Adonis, has just been released from prison and plans to fight his brother from another mother, and that guy believes that Damien left him behind for a better life. Then there's Rocky Balboa, played by Sylvester Stallone, who is quite obviously gone from the trailer. That means Adonis Creed is now in charge of the franchise. How do you guys feel about that? But that's not all. Some behind-the-scenes snippets were also circulating. Yep, set photographs that had made their way online show Michael B. Jordan in the director's chair and provide a first look at Damian Anderson. The latest enemy boxer for the franchise is going to be portrayed by Loki actor, the phenomenal Jonathan Majors. Can't wait to see Kang in a different little universe, can you? The third installment of the Adonis Creed trilogy, Creed 3, was initially scheduled for release in November 2022, but it's now been revealed that Creed 3 is presently anticipated to make its theatrical debut, just like the previous two movies on the big screen on March 3rd, 2023 instead. Now, where will you guys get to stream it if you don't get to hit the cinemas? Well, regarding a streaming distribution, Prime Video appears to be the most likely option. So don't worry, you guys are covered either way. But who else would be appearing on screen with Jonathan Majors? For starters, Michael B. Jordan will return to the role of Adonis Creed's lead character and also serve as the film's director. Double trouble. Then there's Felicia Rashad and Tessa Thompson from Thor, Love and Thunder. They will join him as his wife, Bianca Creed, and as his mother, Mary Ann Creed. And yep, that would make this production the first instance that Rocky Balboa won't be appearing. The two major boxers from Adonis's previous two movies, who are both real-life boxing competitors, are obviously also back, and many other familiar, uber-talented faces will be appearing on screen. Aren't you guys excited? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. One day you came back. The past came back, too. There may have been a time when Damien had your back. No friends in the industry. But that's not what he's doing now. My brother's been my brother's main. They ain't no kidding me a fan. Before I got locked up, I was the best.